Welcome back to this Maxi Shine video. Just trying to survive the Melbourne heat wave at the moment, 45 degrees plus every day. Trying to cool my uh, room with a portable aircon, that's the noise in the background. You can see that, it's still running pretty good. The um, danger them water blocks you can see, pretty much in the 30s, the high 30s, each water block. You can see they're overclocked. You can see my settings I'm running. Uh, not 2.5, it's because it's uh, it'll change as soon as I uh, start pumping it'll go to 4.2 because that's what it's running at, the i7-965 Extreme. Uh, a few people have been running this uh, crisis benchmark thing. People have ran, uh, I think Reapers run uh, this benchmark uh, with the GDX 285s. So I'm going to be running with the 280s, but you know I'm going to overclock them as much as I can. See how good I can go against his run. Uh, we'll go ahead and run the benchmark. Well, the settings have been running online. Uh, 1680 by 1050 three loops, pretty much default everything. The map is Avalanche. Everything else set to default. I'll put that on Enthusiast and DirectX 10. That's pretty much it. So I'll try to keep it even. Here you have it guys. Hoping for 90 frames a second. First on YouTube to actually get that. Hopefully. Doesn't first always sound awesome. Doesn't last long though, but it's good. It's good to have that title sometimes. So what we're hoping for is 90 frames in, uh, a second uh, as an average for 1680 by 1050 Crisis Warhead Benchmark. This is Avalanche. This has been run by a few uh, YouTube uh, reviewers of uh, hardware. Let's see what we got. We'll just focus in on that. Have a look at what we got. Check that out. Man, check out the minimum frames a second, 66.8, 124 max, and an average of 91.3. I mean, 100 is getting pretty close of an average for 22-inch uh, monitors. That's pretty good. Don't forget to check out the forums. I'll post these up there. You can, you can comment and see what sort of settings I was running. I pretty much pushed it pretty hard. I really don't want to push it any further, but uh, we'll see if Reaper uh, <laughs> overclocks his 285s. I'm sure he will. We'll see how we go.